Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources as you prepare for the Comlex board exam. Let's review epididymitis. This is mainly an infection of the epididymis, which is acquired by retrograde spread of organisms via the urethra to the ejaculatory duct and then down the van stepherus to the epididymitis. There's an acute infectious process which is associated with painful enlargement of the epididymis. Let's review the anatomy. The epididymis is located behind the testes here and in, when there's inflammation as you can see on this diagram there's going to be pain associated with this process. There's mainly two categories of the cases associated with acute epididymitis. They're either sexually transmitted, typically with chlamydia trachomotis or Neisseria gonorrhea, or non-sexually transmitted in older men, typically associated with UTI prostatitis caused by gram-negative rods. Also, patients who have been treated with amiodarone have been associated to have epididymitis. So keep these three categories in mind as you're narrowing your differential down, either sexually transmitted, non-sexually transmitted, or relating to amiodarone. The symptoms may follow acute physical strain, trauma, or sexual activity. Usually it's associated with urethritis. There is fever and scrotal swelling, and that's common. And epididymis, remember, is located to the posterior lateral side of the testes, as we saw on the diagram on the previous slide. The presentation is generally a patient with either a coexisting UTI or prostatitis, usually adult males. They have heaviness and dull aching discomfort in the affected hemiscrotum, which can radiate to the flank. Also, epididymis is indistinguishable from the testes. Um, there's also an erythematous scrotum, and the key here is a positive friend sign, which is pain relief by the elevation of the scrotum in a supine position. If this sign is negative you and the process is acute you're thinking of testicular torsion. So remember the friend sign if you read it in a board exam question or in terms of your management for the patient. Again the first step in the management is to rule out torsion. Okay, Torsions are surgical emergency. In a, surgi in a torsion the friend sign will be negative Okay, and it's typically a more acute process. Also, when you order a Doppler ultrasound with the torsion, there will be decreased blood flow. Again, management includes antibiotics, which is directed towards the pathogen, whether it's gram-negative rods or a sexually transmitted disease like chlamydia. The key differential, though, on the board exam is the age. If the patient is greater than 35, it's mainly E. coli. If the patient is less than 35, you can put most of your high probability on chlamydia and Neisseria as the key choices if the patient is less than 35 years old. You want to get a urine culture and also um, suggest bed rest with scrotal elevation in the acute phase to relieve pain. That was a quick overview of epididymitis and please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources and click on the Comlex nephrology and urology section to review addi additional lectures on high yield topics you are likely to encounter on the Comlex board exam and throughout medical school. Good luck in your preparation for the board exam.